This is our top of the line. This is the medallion series. Uh, this is a fully dressed pistol. It has a fiber optic front side, adjustable rear side. It's a two-tone with bad magwell. It has checkering on the front strap, checkering on the main spring housing, checkering on the beaver tail, a flat top, and a two-tone with a skeleton aluminum trigger. This is our top of the line, part of the medallion series. Now we go to another variant. This is what we call the medallion tactical. It is a full chrome with a hog grip, a flat top, adjustable rear side, and a checkered main spring housing, checkered beaver tail, uh, ambidextrous safety, very basic medallion series. It's a fiber optic, flat black finish, parkerized, wooden grip, and snug free or fixed sight with ambidextrous safety. Uh, this is our very basic uh, pistol line. The, we call this the GI, GI series. You can see it's a GI front sight, a GI rear sight, a GI hammer, single safety, a GI beaver tail, and a standard trigger. This is the very basic 1911 GI version of Arms Corps. It is available in caliber 45 and caliber 9mm. This is another variant. We call this a caliber 45 practical series. It is available in full size, mid size, and compact size. It is a semi dress pistol with a dovetail front sight, snug pre, fixed sight, a combat hammer. Combat trigger, ambidextrous safety, and a beaver tail grip safety. It's available in caliber 45, caliber 40, caliber 9 mm. This is our revolver series. We call this a Model 200 Revolver Series. It is only available in caliber 38 Special. Six shots. Uh, basically, this is the Model 202. We cater this for security and uh, private security agencies. We have another variant. Uh, th this one is a bull barrel. A uh, hammer. Spar hammer. This is another model. We call this a model 200. This, uh, it differs from this one, from the model 202. It has a barrel shroud, a 4 inch barrel, caliber 38 special. The last is a model 206. We call this a snub nose version of the caliber 38 special also with a barrel shroud a, and a two inch barrel this is part of our new product we call this a 22 tcm it's rather a new model which is a 22 pattern after a 22 magnum bullet and a it is a high capacity pistol it's a 1911 platform, all with features you can find in a regular 1911 pistol. It's also a, a dovetail front sight, a adjustable rear sight, 
a combat, ham combat trigger, combat hammer, ambidextro safety, and a checkered main spring housing. It's in all in a high capacity. This is a MAP series which we assemble in the Philippines. All of these, all of the parts are imported from Italy and available in caliber 9mm. This one is a full size with a polymer frame with accessory rail, integral front side and a fixed rear side. We have another variant, a mid size. This one is a mid-size variant, uh, same feature with the full size with an accessory rail, integral front side, and a rear side, fixed uh, dovetail rear side. Capacity is 15 rounds. This is our uh, rifle series, the bolt action. It is available in 22 Magnum and 22 LR versions. This one is a model 1500, five rounder with a similar to European style with fiber optic front sight and adjustable rear sight. This one is a model 14P, the very basic of the bolt action rifles with a 10 rounder magazine. This is similar to the European model, the M1400E with fiber optic front sight and adjustable rear sight. Uh, along with the rifle models, this one, these are part of the semi-automatic versions. This one is the model AK standard. Apa, you would notice that it is it looks like a AK. The model 16, M1600 standard rifle, all in caliber 22 LR, 15 rounder. The very basic and the most popular of the model rifle models, the model 20, model 20P. Um, it is a front sight with barrel with front sight hood and adjustable rear sight with lift and a 15 rounder magazine we go to the shotgun series uh, this is the m30 sas we call this m30 sas this caters mostly the security and police agencies it's a pump action with a 7-rounder magazine, 20-inch barrel. And it comes with a heat shield, a long butt. Uh, this is the hunting shotgun. We call this M30 DIC. It is a interchangeable chalk, a pump action also, and it comes with a 5-rounder magazine tube. This is the most popular for uh, securities, for security guards, bank security guards. It, it has a uh, pistolized grip with a five rounder, a magazine tube, and a 18 and a half inch, also available in a 20 inch barrel. This is our new products. Uh, the MIG MIG 22 tactical version with a skeleton uh, bat, the standard MIG MIG 22 rifle, long bat comes with a 15 rounder magazine. This is a M22 semi automatic rifle, it is almost similar to the popular. Ruger 1022 and our newest product uh, patterned after the 22cm 
also available in um, 22 TCM rifle with a 5 rounder magazine bolt action type. Uh, this is our rimfire line. This is what we call the 22 Magnum. It is available in a full metal jacket. And you, what you can see here is a jacketed hollow point. This is our 22 LR line. It is available in high velocity, standard velocity, and subsonic ammunition, subsonic velocity. This is our center, center fire, center fire rifle. This is the 9mm. This is a full metal jacket. It is now available in a hollow point version. It can be in a 115 and a 124 grain bullet head. This is a Tater E Super, a caliber 40, a 380 auto, 30 special, a 357 Magnum. And for the military line, we have the 30M1 and a 223 and a 556 cartridge. It's available in 55 grains and 62 grains, the SS109. Here now is a, our shot shell. This one is a double buck. It is available in a single slug, mostly used by police and military. It is also available in bird shots, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight. You can see from the packaging, this is now the old packaging, and what you can see in the future will be our new arm score packaging. This is our line of ammunition. Uh, we manufacture them very carefully. We go through different process of quality inspection, from the bullet line to the case line. Every stages of the production is inspected and it's passed through a strict quality assurance. We test every lot for its conformance to uh, Saami standards, everything. It should pass the uh, powder content, the bullet weight, and everything, even the uh, visual characteristics, we make check on the bullets, the quality, the presence of dents, uh, presence of corrosions before we uh, sell them to our customers.